Let's talk lip to cheek. Now, when I was developing our lip to cheek at Trini London, it was one of my favorite categories because I love a multitasking product. And we have eight beautiful shades from neutrals to brights I'm gonna take you through. But let's just talk about the benefits of a two-in-one because how often would you have taken your lipstick and made a little bit of blusher? That would happen to me before the invention of something which actually had lip to cheek stamped upon it, which gave me official permission to do it. But there is something I love about the synergy of having a similar shade on your cheek as you have on your lip. And with lip to cheek, you can use it in that classic way, or you can you know, use it as a lip or a cheek with something else. But for me, I do generally put them on my lip and cheek together because I love the shades that we've developed. And my sort of neutral one that I do with denim is VB. And this is a sort of warmer apricotty. So when I put it on my lip, I just, tap it on, tap it on, and I think it's got, because it has very dense pigment, um, you hardly need any, and it lasts really, really well. I'll try to do that, like that. And then I'll take it on my cheeks, and everyone puts their blusher on in a different place. And I don't like to put it too low. And when you do put blusher on, and a lot of people might say, do that with your cheeks. But then when you stop that eh, bunchy, munch, munch, um, munchkin look, chipmunk look sorry chipmunks look your cheeks go down well mine kind of go down but i've got botox in so whatever uh but for me i like to sort of put it on the top of my apple like that and i gently smile when i do it so that's my probably preferred favorite location and i also have a long face so i like to sort of put it here and it just I, I feel it works and you can see immediately my eyes are popping and then you can sometimes put it higher but i'm just going to do I'm going to do it actually on this one like this all right so if i'm doing that kind of quite neutral lip to cheek which um uh which um vb is then over it i might just use anna lip balm like that there but it just transforms and i'll take the rest of the lip balm by the way and i'll do that over the cheek and it is something where if you're tired and there's one thing you need in your makeup bag. You might've been somebody where it was a mascara girl, but for me, it's definitely a quick bit of color on my lips and cheeks. And it's my, one of my favorite products on Trendy London. But let's say, whoa, I'm wearing yellow and I need something that doesn't drain me. Now there are some amazingly fabulous bright colors in lip cheeks. Let me take this off and take it off my cheek and just put on a little bit of Trintron to take away the color that I had on my cheeks there. But let's talk about bright colors, because bright colors for some people are scary. They think, oh, can I do a bright color? But I think sometimes if you do the same thing on your cheek, a bright color can work tremendously well. So look at that yellow. That yellow is wearing me. Now I want something I can grab, which suddenly puts it in perspective, and I am wearing the color. So I'm going to take Pia, wowza, you might say to yourself. I'm going to start, when I do this, I start with my cheeks, interestingly, not with my lips. So I'll just put a little bit, and I'm going to go, funny enough, I'm going to go a little bit higher up this time and put the colour just here. You can do with a brush or with your finger, whichever you prefer. But when I do it with my finger, I just put it in and it will move beautifully. You can blend it in easily, but it stays, it really lasts because the pigment is so intense. So that's already, I'm just... I think I'm looking a bit better. And then I go for my lip moment, like this. There. Right there. Put that on. And you can see my eyes now coming back into focus. And once I've got the strength of colour on, you see now it's, I love the colour peel because it's quite a modern colour. It's a modern version of my mother's pink. And then I might go back, put a tiny bit more blush on. And then usually when I wear Pia, depending on what colour I'm wearing underneath, I would do Talis or Lila on top, a lip glow. So I've got actually Talis and Lila there, do you see mixed together? And I'll just do that to give a more shiny present look. And then I'll take that last little shiny bit and I'll put even more blusher here because I can never have enough blusher. So whereas before that yellow was wearing me, I'm now wearing the yellow. It's incredible how transformative lips, lips and cheeks can be in your wardrobe palette for your face. Did that sound right? No. 
It's amazing how transformative a lip to cheek can be when you're wearing colours that might be wearing you. And when <laughs> lip to cheek probably is my favourite go-to fixer in my makeup bag and it's the thing that will enable me to wear colours that otherwise also might be a bit tricky because the bright ones bring a transformation to my face and the tonal ones like Vivi that I first wore go beautifully with shades that really suit me like denims. <laughs>